Okay, today we're going to embroider on a denim cap. Before we get started, let's talk about how we're going to do that and what we're going to use. It's a denim cap there. It looks like it's a jean, darker blue type of a jean denim cap. We've got our backing, which is definitely the cap backing. And so you want to make sure you use the cap backing. And we're using some needles, which are 7511 needles. They're organ needles, and they are the platinum. So on the bottom of the needle, they're made stronger, and they'll be gold at the bottom, so you'll know that they're the platinum needle. And so those are very important that you have those with these structured caps, and that's what we're doing today, a structured denim cap. And that's coming up next on the Embroidery to You channel. Okay, we're on the machine. We're going to embroider this denim cap. That's coming up now. Let's get it going. Okay, a little bit more about what I was talking to you about before. Remember we're using the uh, sharp needles, which I forgot to tell you about. Uh, you want to use the sharp needle on doing these structured caps. I told you we were using 7511. Sharp titanium needle. First straight with these structured caps. And if you have a mixture of them, you'll know them because of the uh, gold on the bottom of the needle. And that's what I like about them too. So we've got about close to 8,000 stitches on this. It's just going to say our website, embroidery2u.com, and embroidery to you on the top. You always want to start off by embroidering the bottom first and then working your way to the top and go center out. Center out either way will work. You go from center out and this is just pretty much text so it makes it nice and easy to go center out. Your software will help you to uh, do that. And we're embroidering on a denim cap as you can see. Put approximately almost 8,000 stitches on there. Now we're running about 650 RPMs. And everybody seems to like these denim caps. Yeah, I like the structured ones, but other people might like unstructured. But either one, they look really nice. Uh, I like to wear them when I'm wearing my jeans. Uh, it matches up real nice. Get a new pair of jeans and put on your denim cap, and boom, you're looking good. So uh, a lot of customers are, are starting to buy more of the denim hats. And I like to have a sample to show them. So that's why we're embroidering this out and also doing a video. Well, it's going to take us a little while, but uh, throughout it I'll come back and talk a little bit more about the process of embroidering a hat. We've done a few videos on it, and uh, we'll continue to do it. I haven't done a video yet of the hooping, but there is other videos out there that you can look at that show you specifically about hooping. Now, of course, we've got an SWF machine, and this is a 601. And we have it set up for caps almost all the time. And so if somebody walks right in, they can get some caps done. So we'll be right back. Uh, we'll get this going and we'll come back and talk to you a little bit more in just a little bit. Okay, we're continuing on with our denim cap and we're getting close to being finished. So remember, I just finished the, the seam area, which is a tough area. If you have issues with that seam area, with the seams that on these six panel caps, Remember, you loosen them up with an iron, steam them a little bit at that seam. Press it with an iron. If you got a hat press like I have, uh, you can press it in that area. It loosens it up a little bit, just enough for it that you don't have any problems. This cap, I haven't had any problems, but sometimes people supply a cap where the seam in that middle is really hard to deal with. So you got to try to loosen that area up a little bit. And so that's what you do. If you have problems with the seam area when you're doing these six 
panel cap. And remember, we're using a tearaway backing. The cap backing is always tearaway. We're just going to tear that out, do your trimming on the front and the back, and this one will be ready. So we're just down to the four more letters, and I just made it simple. Just a one color. I could have made it a two color. Um, so I just made it a one color. It pops with the white on the darker blue like this. And we have other denim caps that are more darker than this. Even. So uh, then there's some lighter denim caps, which are light blue. So there's a lot of denim caps now out on the market that you can get. So we're going to keep this as a sample to show our customers about the denim caps. And if they want them, they can pick them up. And you think about trying some denim caps yourself and sell them to your customers. Or you can always come to us and we can take care of it for you. I hope you're enjoying our videos. As soon as I'm done with this, we'll take it off the machine, take a look at it. Which won't be very long now. So on the last letter, embroidery to you, embroidery to you.com. I'd like to thank you for uh, watching our video and remember to subscribe and thumbs up. And we'll take a look at this as soon as I'm done. I'll trim it up. We'll take a look at it. And uh, remember to subscribe to our channel. We're about done. There she is. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we finished our denim cap. We tore out our, you know, tearaway backing, did our trimming on the inside of the cap, did a little trimming on the outside, and we've got a completed cap. And this was embroidery on a denim cap. Hope you enjoyed our video, and remember to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on the Embroidery to You channel. Have a great day!